one of the big things we want to know is there anything else your child might have? Is it a thyroid problem? Is it an issue with low iron? Is there a problem with vitamin D deficiency? Is it a dietary problem? Do they have issues with sleeping? Do they have subtle seizures? Um, is, it is and on and on and on and you go, whoa, am I worried about it? Yes, you need to be worried about that. And so a good complete neurologic workup, not by a computer, but by somebody that really is hands-on, asking you the questions, getting the feedback. So you want to go to a medical provider, a health provider that understands ADD, sees it regularly, and can get that, give that feedback because they understand what are the neurologic problems. For instance, we did have one child that very low in vitamin D, very hyper, we put him on vitamin D. That was the end of the problem. He's making A's in school now. We had another one where you couldn't pay attention. Why? Because he wasn't hearing well. We actually got him his hearing checked. Lo and behold, he can hear and do better. Processing speed. A lot of people think in the ADD really is a visual auditory processing issue. I personally have an auditory learning disability. So if I have to sit and take notes and somebody is talking quickly, I can't get the notes down. If I can't get the notes down, not going to focus. If I'm not going to focus, oh, he must have an attention problem. No, I don't have an attention problem. It's I can't pay attention because you're going too fast for my brain to pick it up. So lots of issues go into this. There are what we call DSM-5 criteria for mental health disorders and ADHD, and you have the impulsive type, you have the inattentive type, and you have the combined type. To me, it's all in the same bucket. I mean, give me a break. Uh, you see articles and everybody talks about, oh, well, they've got the inattentive type. Well, the inattentive type came along because of people like me. I'm quiet, can sit still, but my brain is going 90 miles an hour. The hyperactive type or the ADDH type, that type, every, anybody can make the diagnosis. And that's what came along first. Matter of fact, when I first studied in this, it was called minimum brain dysfunction. So how about that for a diagnosis? We understand that it is difficult to make the diagnosis of ADD. We also understand it's greatly overdiagnosed. Also that anybody on a cup of coffee, anybody on Adderall, anybody on Ritalin can focus better. So is it ADD or is it a focusing issue? Is it a learning issue? Is there some comorbidity of anxiety and depression issue? Is it a sleep issue? The bottom line with all that, I cannot tell you. It can't give you boom, 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 because you can fill out the forms. The teachers can fill out the forms. The forms can say whatever the teacher wants them to say. Uh, that you have to be really understanding what is going on both at school and at home. So be careful with making the diagnosis, but if you get the diagnosis, understand it and understand how it impacts your child.